Well, first and foremost, I think my inspiration comes from, from nature and the landscapes that I see and experience, but also I think place exists beyond landscapes. And I think of place as being a physical place, a spiritual place, and a psychological place. So those kind of inform the work. Um, going to textiles, I remember as a kid looking at the Indian Navajo blankets and being just in awe by, by the colors and the kind of abstracted patterns. Um, leap forward 30 years and uh, my repeated trips to Oaxaca, Mexico really kind of inspired the, all of these works in this show. And there's a little village called Teotihuacan de, de la Valle. And that village, every person in that village is a weaver. So families have these little haciendas and they produce these tapetes is what they call them in Mexico. But there's these great textiles that really inspired me. And uh, I think that's kind of the root of a lot of these big paintings behind me is looking at those and looking back upon those early influences in Navajo art and kind of trying to combine them, those two as well with the idea of the landscape and the place being a physical place, a psychological place, and a spiritual place. I don't know. I, I like the Yellow House Canyons, this big, the largest one in the show, uh, for the you know monumentality of it. And, and I imagine, though I've never visited Yellow House Canyon, that it's a monumental deal. And it was obviously named Yellow House Canyon for a reason. So I incorporated this kind of idea of this yellow gold sky, that this blue kind of could be water, could be a river that goes through the canyon and this ground, so these kind of different layers. I also think about uh, kind of strata, different layers, and I think some, somehow these bands might reflect some of that, that interest for me. Um, but I, I get that question asked a lot, what is my favorite painting? And, and that's always a hard thing to answer. It, it depends on the time, you know, I can say every one of them is my favorite one. Um, but I like each one for their, their different things. And what I really hope, though, is that these paintings have this, this pull that, that people will come and really take the time to look at it because the, the, what I hope that the viewer gets out is the sense of presence. You know, I think everybody is concerned about the future or the past too much and they're rarely in the present state because they're on the phone or doing something else. And I think paintings offer this quiet space for one to contemplate and be in the present. What better thing could we do than be in the present moment? There is not much planning. It, it, it's typical, you know, obviously you have these sources of inspiration and you feed off those, but uh, I typically work on a, a, a a large number of works at one time, shifting from one to the other. So there is no specific plan um, for series. I typically work in series, so there's a plan for those. All of these paintings are titled in situ, which is in place, or in its original place, and then a title. And all of these, most of these are titled after sacred places in, um, are in and around Lubbock. Mm. So Yellow House Canyon, Ransom Canyon, Llano Estacado, which is stacked plains, Cowhead Mesa, which did you know that's the biggest flat, raised flat land in the continent? I always, my, my thing with painting is, uh, is finding a response. So I try to get something down, and I've always been interested in exploring the possibilities of paint. What you can do with paint, I mean, I, I fell in love with the medium when I was young, and, and I, I think I found painting because I always like to work with my hands. But uh, so I try to find a conversation, a dialogue with the painting as I'm starting it. And that's me kind of laying down color in a, in a different way, again, a different kind of application process. And then finding a path in that. So it kind of, the, the 
picture or the, I wouldn't say image, the painting kind of emerges from that, that process. So I'm very tied to the process and discovery through the process.